everybody so today is a new week it's monday welcome to the well when you watch it it'll be the end of the week so i hope you've all had a great week but for me it's right now in this moment in time it is the start of the week so we're only at university 12 until quarter to four today so it wasn't really a long day for me i had a nice lie-in and got to uni we had a skill session which was we had to look at some pressure areas we had to work out what grades pressure areas were then we had another station in the skill session that had um must screening tools and you had to work out what the patient's must score was and then we had another assessment tool a nutritional malnutrition assessment tool these different kind of assessments that we're going to be doing out there in our clinical practice so it's really good to practice and know what we're doing with those and also it's for the exam so luckily always been good with assessment tools observation charts um i'm on it and i love pressure sores i've told you this before i love wounds so this is my area absolutely love it so it's been a great day and then our last session of the day was our roundup of Audrey and our sepsis patient and just sort of going through anything we need help with basically what the exam layout is going to be like so they always tell us what sort of layout so it's going to be a mixture of multiple choice questions I don't want to give too much away so it's going to be multiple choice care plan and work out assessment tools and anat some anatomy and physiology as well so it's going to be a good exam isn't it? I think I've got a lot of high hopes for this exam because it sounds great and everything we've learned about I'm really enjoying and I'm really linking it all and it makes sense to me I said this last time everything's making sense to me so our next case study is launched next week which is our third and final case study and I don't know who it is yet or anything I've heard some rumours that it might be ectopic pregnancy but we'll find out next week overall today's been a great day it's too hot if you look I'm absolutely sweating it's been so hot I've heard it's going to get hotter during the week I don't like it I want the snow back <laughs> because it's too hot it's just too hot i don't mind the heat and sunshine if there's a bit of a breeze and it's cool outside that's fine but this this is crazy people die in this heat it's not okay and they're going to be issuing a level three warning which is wah, wah, wah. that's the highest i think isn't it so just yeah if it's sunday and it's a hot day look after your neighbors look after the elderly look after the children look after anyone that might be at risk in this heat top tip of the day so that's it for today i'll see you all tomorrow that, oh actually this is it this is it for this week I've, i'm only at university this week and then i've got the rest of the week off so i'm on a shift tomorrow i've picked up a bank shift and i can't wait i love um working i keep telling you this i love working that's it i've got wednesday thursday off oh my god my assignment i've made an amazing start on my assignment at the weekend so saturday i know i said i wasn't going to do much um at the weekend so saturday I did half of my assignment and I've only got half of it left to do. Oh, I think I've got about 800 words left to write. That's that's actually less than half of it because it's 2,000 words. So oh, I am on top of this. I feel on top of the world. I feel empowered. Do you feel empowered today? Let me know. So yes, that's it for today. I shall see you all tomorrow. I'm at work. Ooh. I've bought the team some ice lollies again because it's an absolutely scorching day and I'm sweating. I've had to wash before I start work. How bad is that? I'm not impressed with this heat. But I hope everyone's having a great time and I'll see you all later. Hi everybody, so you got to excuse the look, I don't feel very well today, I don't know what's happened but I woke up feeling a little bit meh, <laughs> I won't go into too much detail about it but yeah just excuse the face and look at my desk, look how terrible, <laughs> I'm ashamed it's such a mess, oh it's awful, I was supposed to be going into uni today um, to do some videoing and photographs and things in the sports hall for the university but I literally feel like deaf so I'm taking this opportunity to stay at home, rest and do a bit on my assignment. I know I shouldn't even be working, I should be asleep or something but I have I've made a great start on my assignment, I've told you I've started it. I've now got about 400 words left to write. 
So I'm nearly there guys, by the end of the day it will be done and then all I've got left is to revise, I've got no more written work, nothing left to do, just revise for the exam in September. Yes, great start. But yes, I am feeling a little bit cack and I've been downing water like there's no tomorrow to try and hydrate, get myself fresh again. I've just dehydrated and I think I've just overworked myself and burnt myself out to be honest I'm not gonna lie so I'm gonna take a little bit of a step back across the weekend and just chill out um actually I can't chill out at the weekend I've got to do oh my god I haven't told you all so on Saturday I've I'm actually gonna work for the university doing some vlogging I know so we are we've been given this challenge to go into London for the day and spend the day with a group of I think I'm really sorry if I get this wrong I think they're Chinese or Japanese students and we've got to go into London show them around London and show them a good great time and why they should be studying in England basically it's for the international summer scheme or summer school scheme or something like that anyway sorry I'm really bad at explaining things but that should be great that should be a great day it's going to be a great vlog I think it's going to be fun and it's free I'm going to London to spend the day and have a laugh for free actually I'm gonna get paid for it so <laughs> bonus so I'm really excited about that um, I'm hoping to feel better for it because I really don't want to be doing that in London whilst feeling like rubbish so I'm spending the next two days to just recharge my batteries tomorrow it is one of the Haas teams Jackie's she's opened a deli which is like organic vegan based deli in Leamington Spa so tomorrow's the big open day so I'm gonna go to that about lunchtime and I'm hoping I'm feeling okay for it take a video and show you all because I'm really excited and if you live near Leamington Spa and you're watching this, go and pay a visit. Okay, I'm going to show you tomorrow. So for now, I'm going to finish this and get ready for the weekend. Oh, and Sunday, I'm off Sunday. So I've got all of Sunday off. I'm planning to do absolutely nothing because I'm finishing this assignment today. And that is it. Sunday's going to be spent sleeping and watching movies. That's all I'm going to do Sunday. And upload this video of course <laughs> um so see you all tomorrow um let's hope i feel better and i make it to the deli and yeah i'll see you tomorrow it's friday i'm on the way to the deli i've just got to pop into uni first to drop off a passport for to do some vlogging and things for the uni i'm gonna do that first and then i'm heading off to Lemington spa the posh area of the world to see the wonderful jackie's new deli and the opening I'm really excited. I do feel much better today. I've still got this, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go into details. <laughs> it's green and it's not nice. I've still got a bit of that going on. Um, I still feel a little bit rubbish, but not as bad as I did yesterday. And I've got some exciting news. I've done my assignment, I've finished, I've done it. My first draft is actually complete and finished. <gasps> that means I've got no more written work to do. The only thing I've got to do is just literally check it all make sure it's all okay make sure i've included everything and that's it that's all i've got left to do now i can just revise and love life i've got about a month before one of them has to be handed in and then about a month and a half before the other ones are handed in so i've got loads of time i am well ahead of schedule and that's how you stay organized It's half five in the morning, I'm up, I'm dressed, I'm awake, I've had my breakfast and I'm going to get on the bus. Um, on the way into Birmingham, I'm going to go and have a great day. I'm feeling energised, I'm excited for it. Um, hopefully it'll be okay today and I'll see you all later.